Hi, Juliana. My name is Emily Rios, and I will be um, critiquing your physical assessment video that you had posted, and you did yours on alcohol and substance abuse assessment. Um, overall, I think you hit on all the points uh, mentioned in the syllabus that were requirements. You did a very um, in-depth discussion on the 28-item assessment for substance abuse. I would have liked to see a more engaging conversation with a patient, maybe not hitting on every single point, but how you would direct the conversation and what follow-up questions you would ask. I think that would be really useful to see how this tool is applied and maybe just showing how the tool looks or um, just mentioning a few other highlights of it would have been more um, helpful. Um, you did mention how to use a CEWA scale, which I thought was accurate. Um, I use that often in my practice as well. Um, I would have liked to have heard on how you reassess and what that looks like because that is a big part of the CEWA because we are always constantly reassessing um, and what the treatment for that would look like and also what would a higher level of care um, look like and at what point would that be needed. I think that would be helpful. Um, you highlighted prescription drug abuse, which I think was great. I don't think as practice, you know, as a practicing nurse, we a lot of times ask about prescription drug abuse and I think it's kind of a taboo topic maybe. Um, I don't know why, but I, I know I don't really ask about that. So I like that you highlighted that. Um, I would have liked to hear a discussion on the cow scale, which was like, which, which was like, I was kind of expecting that um, with yeah, that discussion. So I did pull it up here just to add some uh, knowledge to this discussion. The clinical opiate withdrawal scale or cows is 11 item uh, scale designed to be administered inpatient or outpatient by a clinician. Um, the highest score you can get on this is a 36, which is severe withdrawal. Uh, the different parts of this are resting pulse rate, GI upset, sweating, tremor, restlessness, yawning, uh, pupil size, anxiety or irritability, bone and joint aches, goosebumps, and runny nose or tearing. So for all of those, if your heart rate's above a 120, that's the worst. Uh, multiple episodes of diarrhea or vomiting is the worst. Sweating, uh, Sweat streaming off the face is a four, that's the worst. Tremoring, gross tremoring and twitching is the highest on there. Restlessness, unable to sit for a few seconds. Yawning several times a minute. Pupil so dilated that only the rim of the iris is visible. It was a five. Uh, anxiety, they are so irritable that they're like jumping out of their chair and can't participate in the assessment. Um, joint aches patient rubbing joints and muscles, unable to sit because they're so uncomfortable. Uh, prominent goosebumps is a five, and then runny nose is constant and tearing down the cheeks. Um, I've kind of used this scale in practice. I work in an ICU, so it's kind of hard to ask them about like joint aches and um yawning is hard to see because they're intubated so we assume with some of these other pieces that they are having a withdrawal if they're you know have all these other like amped up sympathetic nervous system uh, s symptoms so um let's see you did m mention methadone teaching which was great um you did mention that this all is delicate and requires empathy and compassion, which I liked. Um, I think that's all true. Um, so in, all in all, I think you hit on all of the uh, major requirements. Um, Presentation-wise, I would just say um, it, some of it was a little distracting. The lighting was very dark. Um, the fidgeting was a little distracting to the content of what you were speaking of. Um, I would have liked to see it just a little more put together in practice, perhaps. Um, so that's just that's just my uh, input for that. So, um, well, thank you for viewing this.